I feel like I have not sat in front of a camera in so long. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. For today's trans education, I thought I would give some do's and don'ts on dating a trans guy. I've had a lot of requests for this video from people asking, hey, I have a crush on this trans guy, I want to make sure I'm respecting him properly, I am doing everything in my power to make him happy and good, so I thought I would come up with a few do's and don'ts to let you guys know about what you should do or shouldn't do while dating a trans guy. That's all I've got, let's hop into the video. The first do while dating a trans guy is to ask him about his comfort zones and what his boundaries are. Whether this be with physical affection or sexually or just in the relationship in general, you want to know what his boundaries are and the things that he is comfortable with and the things that he is not comfortable with so you can get a better handle on how you're going to go about the relationship. The first don't is don't force him into your idea of what a man is. He might express his masculinity or his femininity or his identity different than what your generalized idea of a man is. And that's perfectly okay considering it's his identity and he can do whatever he pleases with it. What you need to do is just be there and accept him and love him no matter how he shows his identity. The next do is to understand that his situation and journey is personal and different from other trans people's. You may have talked to trans people in the past and about their experiences, however his experience might be a lot different from what their experience was. So you're going to want to talk to him about that and just understand that it is not the same for every trans guy. The next don't is don't expect him to know everything. And by know everything, I'm meaning more with his transition and his journey. Like I said, it is a journey, so he might not know everything about himself right when he gets into a relationship with you. Parts of his identity might change, they might shift, and they might not. But you need to be prepared and know that he doesn't know everything and it's a learning process for the both of you. The last do I have is is do put maximum effort and support into his journey. As a trans guy, I know I need a lot of support just mentally, physically dealing with gender issues because it's something that I'm going to have to deal with the rest of my life. And having someone there to support you, say they love you, say they're there for you and they'll care for you and they'll fight for you and with you is one of the best feelings in the world. So just make sure you put as much effort into him and the relationship and his journey as you can. The last don't I have is don't out him to anyone ever. Outing somebody is never okay, never in any situation, whether it be gender, sexuality, anything like that, outing someone Someone is never okay. If he is comfortable enough to go out and present masculine and identifying as such, you have no right to out him to any of your friends. You have no right to out him to any of your family. It is not their business. Unless he asks you to tell them or he chooses to tell them with you, you have absolutely no business going on and telling people, oh, I'm dating this trans guy because it's not their business. They don't need to know that. So there are my do's and don'ts of dating a trans guy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave some comments down below of what are some future ideas I should do for trans education videos. I'm starting to run short so any ideas you guys have and you guys would like to see would absolutely mean the world to me. If you want to keep up with me in real time you can follow me on all of my social media which is linked down below at the Riley Kyle on every single platform and you can also subscribe to my side channel where I vlog and upload several times a week which is pretty cool. Also if you didn't know I have a shop on Etsy it's called Riley's Little Shop it specializes in little slash ABDL slash CGL products and things so you should go check that out the link is down below that's all I have I love you guys and I will see you guys on Thursday okay bye